Hello, I'm Olmsted from Alex and Olmsted, and today I'm working on a block print inspired by our show, Home Bodies. Home Bodies is a comedy that explores the concepts of house and home. It centers on a 30 cubic inch puzzle box of trick doors and amenities. There's puppetry and there's physical comedy, but the true star of the show is the box that we custom designed. In many ways, the box is the main character in the show so I wanted that to be the central focus in the design of the print. I chose to trace a high-res portrait photograph of the box by Leslie Swan and place it within a forest frame that is hand-drawn. Leslie's portrait of the box perched on the stump of a recently felled tree is a beautiful juxtaposition of raw material and curated object of nature and design. The forest frame further accentuates the magic of the box emerging from its raw material. For prints, I like to design directly on tracing paper for three major reasons. One, I have the ability to incorporate traced images, like this box photograph by Leslie. Two, the graphite transfers well onto most surfaces. And three, it means that I don't have to design backwards. I often use a library card, or in this case, a download card for the Voyager Golden Record <laughs> to transfer the design. I'm working with the Speedball brand Speedy Cut High Density Rubber Block. I often choose to work with this material because it's so easy to carve and to print. With lino cuts, the prints can vary because of inconsistencies with the rolled ink and with burnishing. For example, this block print, inspired by Adventure Theater's Wizard of Oz, was carved into linoleum and the prints very widely. This is because of inconsistencies in the rolled out ink, as well as the burnishing of the ink onto the paper. For comparison, this block print, inspired by Happenstance Theater's Brouhaha, was carved into rubber. And the prints are fairly consistent. I can use a dye-based ink pad and I don't need to burnish the print at all. Alright, let's transfer. I like to take a peek to make sure it's working. Looks like it is. I generally go over it a number of times just to be sure. And now let's take a look. Pretty good. So even though it's not a perfect transfer, it's good enough. I have enough details to go off of. And for places like this, in the design that didn't transfer, I can easily draw that on directly to the material with a pencil, or I can just carve it by sight. I'm imagining that the forest frame will be dark, so I'll leave that as negative space that I won't carve out. And this um, sky area will be carved out in white. And now, time to carve. I just finished carving the block print. So now it's time for me to do the first 
trial print. So right now I'm using an acid-free, non-toxic stamping pad. It's like a simple kind of a dye ink that is very easy to apply to a block print. What I prefer about this kind of stamping pad as opposed to rolled out ink is that it's easy to get a pretty even consistency. With rolled out ink, you need a piece of plexiglass or glass to roll it out on, and it's very difficult to get a nice, fine, even layer rolled out onto the glass, and then the prints can come out a little uneven. For example, these ones that are printed in that way, you can see the inconsistencies print to print because the ink was inconsistent on the inking surface. I also don't have a printing press, so when I'm printing with a lino cut, this is linoleum, I roll out the ink on a surface, roll the ink onto the print, put the paper on top and use an object like a wooden spoon to burnish it, and then because I'm not using a press, that also brings up inconsistencies print to print. So for every few, few prints I make, there will be one or two that I just can't use. Well, I think that's close. Let's see what it looks like. And there we are. So on first glance, it looks like there was a piece of rubber shaving right on the print itself, which caused that to appear easily fixed. Um, and it looks like there may also be a few other small shavings that need to be cleaned from the print, but this is pretty much close, very close to what I wanted it to look like. I may spend some time cleaning up this background area. I did not intend for that to show up in the print. It's kind of nice, but a little bit busy. So I think I may end up cleaning that up and removing that from the print, but there we are. We did it. We'd like to take this moment to thank our patrons at patreon.com whose monthly support helps us to make work like this possible. As a thank you, we'll be sending you a copy of this print. If you're not a patron, but you'd like a print, make sure to join before the end of the month. Thanks.